Yes, Detective Hungate, 74th Precinct. I'd like to talk to you, if I may. About what? Guess. Detective Hungate. Mind if I come in? Yeah, I think I do. I got a search warrant. Let me see it. I can get a search warrant. What would you be searching for with your warrant? Tape with a man's name on it. How'd you find me? <laughs> it didn't take a lot of ingenuity. Is this legal? As long as you invite me in. I'm not inviting you in. I'll be back with a warrant. I erased it. No, you didn't. Look, what do you say? You invite me in, we just talk. You won't try and seize anything? Without a warrant, no, ma'am. That'd be contrary to acceptable police procedure. Hmm. I do them small first. And then if I like them, I have them executed full size by a fabricator. Oh, it's, uh, it's like a building contractor. I, um, I give him the blueprints and he makes the buildings. See? This is the piece I'm working on now. Somebody's gonna buy that for the living room? The big ones are always commissions. This is gonna be my my show, and it moves on to a permanent installation. There's a piece over here I think you'll really appreciate. Grab the glass ball. <laughs> Go on. Just grab it? Mm. Oh. I dig. You gotta be quick, huh? That's right. Okay. Violated. Now there's a way out of this, or is it going to start to consume me while you dance around here humming incantations? Nobody's managed it, but yeah, there's a way out. Well, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I should apologize for urinating on someone. Actually, it was a drunk sleeping in a doorway. I haven't been able to stand myself since. I hope this makes me feel What's better. What's your story, lady? Give up? Look, why don't you save yourself a whole lot of grief here? Just give me the tape, huh? I can get a subpoena from the DA. Now, you go before a grand jury withhold possible evidence in a capital case. You're obstructing justice. You go to the slammer. Can you deal with that? Oh, look, let me tell you something. This guy on the phone is a goddamn lunatic. Now, I'm very sorry to hurl real life into the middle of your little pretend world here. See, this may be art to you, but it's mind-fucking games and bullshit to me. So you're going to give me that tape or I'll make life miserable for you. You decide. Why don't you get out of here, please? Do whatever you have to do. Hi, Claude again. You remember I told you about my cousin when I was 15? Well, the year after that, I killed this kid, Louie. 
bash his head in with my Louisville slugger. <laughs> I got away with it. <laughs> but I want to apologize to Louis. I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> God, I feel good. This is some incredible, wonderful service you're running. Why would anybody <laughs> want to solicit this stuff? I didn't think I was going to get this stuff. Just hope to make a little safe contact with reality, huh? I intended to do something helpful, not hurtful. Well, Ms. McGuire, you may think you're going to stay remote from all this, but if I was you, I'd take this telephone answering machine and turn it over to your local sanitation engineer. I'll be back with a subpoena. And then you ordered the suspect to drop his weapon. Yes, sir. But he didn't. No. What did he do? Well, he cursed me. Cursed you? Yes, sir. In what way? He said, what else do you want? Honky motherfucker. And, and he fired a shot at me. Did the racial slur incite you to return the fire? No, sir. Racial epithets of any sort don't incite me at all anymore. Go on. He stepped out from behind the car, holding the girl's dead body to shield him. He fired again. I fired. In self-defense? Yeah. To wound? No. Yes, thank you. I'll send it right in. 